We are Thomas and Nicole, hence the name of this channel, Tonic. We are both in our 40s and 50s and we are living the usual lifestyle of a working couple with family and kids. Now, there's still this craving we want to do something more with our lives. Means sooner or later, once our kids are in college, we plan to sell our house, buy ourselves a catamaran, move there for living and working. We want to live and work from abroad and of course get to places that we would like to be. This will happen in approximately five years. Both of us are sailing forever. I was in the German Navy. I'm sailing since, well, basically since before I can think. Still, we are lacking current practice, which is something that we are about to change now. The first thing that one needs when living on a boat is, of course, a boat. Our sweet spot is a catamaran in the area, in the range of 45 to 52 feet. But, well, l let's see where we eventually end up. Beyond this basic number, it's actually about squaring the circle. We will be mainly two people, so the boat ideally needs to be manageable by only one. Given that, it needs to be safe and sturdy enough. We want to continue to work, as said before, so we require two workspaces. Creature comforts are quite important to us, means we need some space, really space around us. There's nothing that is worse than being crammed into a very tight confinement. Or being cold, or too hot. Not having warm water, you, you get the drift. And then we have kids. Even if they are out of house, they and their families should be able to visit us once in a while. And then we are kind of greenish and geekish. At least I am kind of geekish. So the less diesel, the better. Means we want to be able to generate sufficient electricity without running an engine or a diesel or gas powered generator. And then there's performance. After all, it's a sailing boat. We want to sail and not only have a houseboat. Performance in terms of speed and upwind capabilities is also equal to safety. So, at the end of the day, we want it all. Can we get it all? Probably not. But let's see. This brings me to the question, why this channel? I mean, there are plenty of channels that already deal with living abroad and dealing with sailing. Like Sailing Ruby Rose, Sailing Zatara, Gone with the Winds, Sailing La Vagabond, and many, many more. And they are all good. However, they are dealing with being on the boat, not being with the journey of getting there. So, we think this is different. And I do think that we are not alone with our plan or our dream. And in the next years, we will learn a lot. We will look at actual boats, not only trolling sites like yachtworld.com and other sites, which are good and important. And the first thing that we'll do is go to the Annapolis Boat Show this year, 2022. As part of our journey, we will also charter boats in different regions, different type of boats. Just this summer, for example, we had a Leopard 48. Unluckily, we do not have any video. Suffice it to say, the charter version of the Leopard 48 is not quite ours. Although it's a nice boat. It's a very nice boat, actually. Now, why do we do that? Of course, this will sharpen our thinking. It will help us finding out what we like on a boat, what works on a boat, and then finding the right boat. And what's more, it will hone our skills, revitalize our skills that we have and didn't practice. Now, based upon what I said earlier, we have developed a catalog of criteria which we will use to assess whether a boat is a potential fit or not, and then find the right boat with it. Will this catalog evolve? Of course it will. But so far, we have a good baseline. Now, the journey itself is a bit longer and we need to keep a record of what we learn, what we look at, what we like and why, 
Some of it will be written and some of it will be in video. And there are also lots of tools and resources around that we find and probably even create that deserve to get more publicity and that de <laughs> deserve to be for ourselves put into one spot so that we have them as a reference. And last but not least, there is no point in not sharing our learnings and ideas. And this is what this channel will be for. I hope you enjoy participating in our learning journey. You, you can contribute and well, why not subscribe to our channel? See you later.